Hello everyone and welcome to the QQ Catalyst marketing class. In this class, we will review the bulk email and print feature. The screen you are currently viewing is called the dashboard. The marketing section of QQ Catalyst is located on the global navigation toolbar, which follows you throughout QQ Catalyst. Let's review the features in the marketing dropdown. First, we have the templates library. This is where all of your letter templates are stored. If you need a refresher on how to create a letter template, you can attend the Intermediate Marketing class or view the video online. Next, we have the Images Library. Any images used within a letter template are stored in this section. Uploading images is covered in detail in both the Beginner and Intermediate class. Lastly, we have the Bulk Email Print feature. QQ Catalyst has the ability to print letters or send emails to multiple customers at once. Let's go into the bulk email print section. The bulk email print section is where all of your distribution lists are located. By default, when you enter this section, you will see all distribution lists. However, you can view and search by both your standard library and your agency library. In the standard library are distribution lists we have created for you and stored into your database. All the distribution lists that are listed in this section are hard-coded, therefore they cannot be deleted or changed in any way. However, you do have the ability to duplicate any of the templates listed in this section. To see all of your available options, you would hover over the distribution list name and click your left mouse button to display the drop-down menu. We have also filed the, all the distribution lists into their proper category, so if you don't want to look through all the lists to find one that you need, you can narrow the criteria by selecting the proper category. The categories available are Financial, Carrier, Customer, and Other. Anytime you create a distribution list and save it into QQ Catalyst, that list will be saved into the Agency Library. The agency library has subfolder categories available, just like in the standard library. You have the ability to edit, duplicate, and delete the distribution list that you have created within the system. To see your available options, you would hover over the template name and click your left mouse button to display the drop-down menu. You can sort the distribution list by the columns listed. Name, Description, Type, Category, and date modified. You can view the distribution list in ascending or descending order by selecting the column headers. You also have the ability to search your distribution list using the search engine. If you wanted to use one of the standard distribution lists to create bulk email or print, you would hover your mouse over the distribution list you want to use and click your left mouse button. You have two options to begin your bulk email print job. The first is to export to MailChimp. MailChimp is a service that allows its users to create, send, and track email newsletters. In order to use this integration, you would need to have a MailChimp account set up and your MailChimp API key must be set up in your location preferences. This is covered in detail in the admin training class. You can also use our standard distribution list or distribution list that you create to export to MailChimp. When you choose to export to MailChimp, a pop-up box appears. Choose a location and then select the MailChimp list to export the chosen distribution list to. The list, the list that you see here comes directly from MailChimp based on the API key you entered for the chosen location. If you have any contacts that have chose to opt out of bulk emails, you can select Include Opt-outs to have them included in the distribution list. Otherwise, you can leave Opt-outs unchecked. Click OK to export the distribution list to MailChimp. QQ Catalyst will generate and send the list to MailChimp and you will see a visible confirmation once the process is completed. From there, you can click the link on the confirmation to access your MailChimp account and proceed with creating your email campaign via the MailChimp website. To create a bulk email or print campaign inside of QQ Catalyst, you would select Create Email Print. Once you select Create Bulk Email Print, you will need to select a template. Your templates library displays to allow you to select whichever template that you would like to use. To select a template, highlight the template and select Next on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. 
You will now see the workflow at the top of the page. You can navigate through the workflow by selecting the tabs at the top or by selecting the previous and next buttons at the bottom of the page. The next step in the workflow is the document editor. Here you will see your template displayed and if any additional edits are needed before the bulk email or letter is sent or printed, you can make them now. In this template, there is an image placeholder. In order to add an image, you can double click the image placeholder and paste in the image URL into the URL field. You can then adjust the width and the height of the image here. If you wanted to add a link to the image, for example, your website, you would select the link tab and add the URL to the URL field. Select OK to save your changes. Selecting Next will take you to the next step in the workflow. The next step is the preview step. This will display a preview of the template with all of the merge fields populated. You can use the arrows located here to navigate back and forth through the preview of all the letters created. Select Next to select your delivery options. In the document description, enter a title for your document. This is the name that you will see when the letter or email is saved in the customer's file tab. If any notes are necessary, you can go ahead and enter them here. Now, go ahead and select the delivery option. You can email or print the document. First, we are going to print. Select Finish at the bottom right hand corner. A warning message will display advising of the number of letters that are being generated. Select Yes to continue. The bulk print job will appear in your bell advising of the percentage completed. A message will display when the print job is complete. When complete, a PDF document will be generated for you to print or save. Printing and saving the PDF letter is covered in the Intermediate Marketing class. Back in the workflow, if we wanted to go ahead and do a bulk email, we would select the delivery option, Email this document. Then select Next on the bottom right hand corner. If you have multiple email addresses assigned to you, you will be able to select which email address that you would like to send from. Then enter an email subject. Select Finish at the bottom right hand corner. A warning message will display advising of the number of emails that will be sent. QQ Catalyst omits contacts that do not have an email address or have opted out of bulk email campaigns. To continue, go ahead and select Yes. The bulk email job will appear in your bell advising of the percentage completed as the emails are sent. A message will display when it is complete. You have the ability to create your own distribution list by selecting the Add New List button located on the dark gray toolbar. Within the Distribution List Builder, you have a workflow. You can navigate through the workflow by selecting the tabs, selecting the page arrows located right here, or by selecting the Previous and Next button located at the bottom of the page. Right below the workflow, you will find Category and Data Sources. In order to create a distribution list, you need to select from the Category and Data Sources. Category is used to determine who the distribution list is going to target. And you'll see that the data sources will change based on the category that's listed. Data sources determine which columns will be available to filter. By default, when you select customer as a category, customer information is selected for you. The next step in the workflow is to set criteria or filters for your distribution list. Select the columns drop down menu to view the available columns. You can use the scroll bar to search, or you can use the search box to search by keyword. You can filter by in list or not in list, and then you can enter a value in the value field. To add another filter, select the add another filter link here. I'll go ahead and search for policy status and add a value of active. Once you have all the filters entered that you would like, select Next to go to the last step of the workflow. The last section of the workflow is the preview section. This will give you a preview of the customers that are included in this distribution list. You can go ahead and scroll through the list using your scroll bar. You can go ahead and name your distribution list uh, by entering a name in the name field. You can enter a description if you'd like.
and you can also select the type of where you'd like this distribution list to be stored in your agency library. Select Save to save your changes. Your distribution list is now available in your agency library to create bulk email and print campaigns. This concludes our marketing class. In this class, we reviewed the bulk email and print feature, as well as creating distribution list. Thank you for attending.